Welcome back. So deer season is over and we have a lot of meat from uh, from the season and uh, I have uh, some back scraps here that uh, I've thought it'd be a good idea to to show everyone how I make them because back scraps if done the right way are always delicious. So I have some back scraps here that have been uh, vacuum sealed uh, from from this season we're gonna clean them up and we're gonna make them in the uh, the air fryer I used to make them in the uh, in the grill but I discovered that the air fryer is pretty good so let's get to it okay so here our back straps have been defrosted from yesterday. We're only gonna eat one. And we're gonna save the other one for later. Anyways, if you watched some of the other videos, you obviously know that all this blue tissue has to come off. And that's a nice backstrap. I eat that in one sitting by myself. So you're gonna wash it. Come here and just poke through. Um, this is not a clean cook video, but but uh, it is important to to clean your meat uh, the right way or properly because it does influence the. Uh, the taste and the texture so that's why I decided to include it here I mean I, I mean you should know that every every everything that's not rid should come off it needs to come off then you could eat it but it ain't gonna be a uh, it ain't gonna be much fun if you're chewing on it you want it to be real tender we're going to cook this back back strap to a medium, medium, medium rare term, as deer, deer does not do well if overcooked. Um, so there you have it. Give this for the the dogs later. So, there it is. We'll clean it as best we can. Let's get a paper towel make sure she's real dry. We want to remove the water. All we want on this, on the meat, is fat. So deer doesn't have much fat, and the fat that it does have isn't great. So what we're going to use instead I have some bacon grease here from uh, you know just from breakfast we're gonna oh I almost forgot we need to preheat our uh, we need to preheat our uh, our fryer so we're gonna preheat it to 400 and after it does, and our backstrap is seasoned and everything, we're going to leave it in there for 15 minutes, uh, 400. So here's our seasoning Montreal steak. I like it. And no, they're not a sponsor. I, I just like this one. It has a coarse salt and, I don't know, I like the flavor. Same thing. Turn her around. Do not be afraid to add pig lard. Don't be afraid of it. The, the, the steak can only hold as, as much as it needs. 
So there it is. So she's ready. We're going to open this up and uh, drop the back strap in. And we're going to go back to 15 minutes. Let's give it 16. After it's done, we're going to let it rest for 10 minutes and then we're going to eat it. So everything's going well. Uh, we're gonna speed up uh, the process or speed up the video throughout this process as we don't need to sit here 15 minutes watching this cook. So we're just gonna speed it up and uh, we'll catch up when, uh, when it's ready. So here we're making some eggs to, uh, to go with that back scrap. I mean, I wasn't gonna do anything, but it looked kind of lonely. <laughs> so, I usually make like a a mushroom gravy, but this was a spur of the moment thing. Let's just make some eggs over easy, and uh, that'll be that. Okay, so our eggs are ready. We're gonna add just. Salt and pepper. That's all it needs. Okay, so our our air oven or air fryer hit zero. Now we're going to let it rest for about five to ten minutes. Then we're gonna eat. All right, here it is. Place it here. Let's cut it to see what we're working here. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. That right there. It's perfect. Grab these, put them up here. I said you want deer, you don't want it overcooked. And believe me, this is very tender right now. Obviously a sharp knife is very important. <laughs> and deer cooks it around. 150 there it is we're gonna eat some of it now Try this piece right here. Huh. Hmm. Very good. So, and we don't have gravy. We're gonna pop the eggs over there. So we're gonna use the eggs as gravy. I said earlier, I usually, I typically use uh, mushroom gravy. It was just lazy today. But this, this is very good, <laughs> I'm afraid to say. Alright, so, I'm going to turn off the camera so I can finish eating this. And watch the next video. We're gonna make a deer pizza. 
should be very interesting. See you next time.